The first learning theory we're going to look at then is operant conditioning. And you'll see from the text there that I've said that operant conditioning is quite popular with the exam boards. It's fairly frequently examined. So we must make sure that we've got a really good understanding of what operant conditioning means. The images of the rats in front of you will become clear as we go forward. There are some key pieces of terminology that you must know, you must use, you must understand in order to be able to answer questions on operant conditioning successfully. So let's make a start by looking at these key pieces of terminology first before we move forward into looking exactly at how the theory works. So there are five key pieces of terminology that we need to be aware of. The first one of which is stimulus response bond, sometimes referred to as the SR bond. And we'll have a really good look at that in our next video to make sure we've got a great understanding of what this is about. From that is then this idea of trial and error learning. And you can see there from the tick and the cross, get an idea of what that might be about. Of course, we'll look at that in more detail as well. We'll then look at this concept of manipulating the environment to help learning take place. And that is coupled with shaping behavior. What exactly is that the learner needs to do in order to carry to bring about the learning that's required. And then finally, we'll look at reinforcement and the part that reinforcement plays in ensuring that learning takes place.